ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Episode 100 of the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast. How good is that? I'm joined with Anabolic Gabe. Gab, how are you? How did you sleep? Oh, let's just get this over and done with, For mate. the 100th time. For the 100th time. I don't know how we made it this far, but mate, I am very well. Bit bit fatigued from the training, but I slept well. Everything is Gucci. What about you, mate? I'm very well, mate. Slept like an absolute baby last night. We're raising the bat. We're taking the helmet off. This is a huge milestone. Mm. I, uh, I'm i really proud of us. I am proud, mate. And I think it's almost taken 100 episodes for the podcasting to feel like it's real. Yeah. Because for the longest time, which we'll get into, we're in some pretty dingy, unprofessional, amateur places. And it just goes to show like it's taken 100 episodes for us to somewhat figure out podcasting, I think. Uh, you know, they say not everyone needs a podcast. Maybe we don't, but we're in a studio. The podcast is doing bloody well numbers-wise in all the sh- shorts, TikToks, charts, and it's starting to feel real, baby. Episode 100 and the next 100, mate, I'm ready to absolutely skyrocket this thing. We've gone through a few of the old episodes just prior mm-hmm. to this podcast, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but man, there's a lot of history there. Like it's a lot of a backdated kind of content that oh. we will have for the rest of our lives that our kids will see that, you know you know future wives will see and like it's it's pretty cool it's because it's a real documentation of our friendship mm. first and foremost and things we've been through you know and our we, lives just in uh, general yeah, our lives so i don't know I'm, I'm really excited today um it was a little bit like when you go through your camera roll and you just go a little bit too far and you see some shit like you didn't really want to see it's a bit uncomfortable it is but yeah. it's all part of it. it reminds me of so my dad was on radio yeah. and i remember when i was maybe 10 to 13 i found mm-hmm. his like radio tracks like the sorry the um cassette tapes yeah. and i listened to them when he was you know he must have been 25 when he was they were recorded mm-hmm. and just listening to that back was like crazy to me because he was like so young and then recording at the same time yeah. this is the same kind of vibe for me so i'm very excited i wonder what we'll think when hopefully we record episode 200 and we look back at episode 100 will we be on the side of the street with the glass pipe um mm. not doing too well the see through didgeridoo yeah or will I be, you know, pressing start on my blue Lamborghini wide body Urus and you in mm. your S65. I don't know. Will nice, that be the like case? That. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. I think GT2 RS for me. Would okay. Be good. But yeah. yeah, no, well, that's that's true. I'd, I'd say what I would be most nervous of at episode 200 would be like just being stagnant. Not not grown at all. I'd prefer to be on the side of the road with it. I'd yeah, probably have to pistol. change my name. <laughs> Work a normal job. So yeah, we'll see if we make it to episode 200, but let's not look too far ahead. Mm. Uh, today's episode I wanted to get into, well, we wanted to get into just like how we've done it, like what we do for each yeah. episode. And like the, the first kind of 10 to 15 minutes of this podcast is really going to delve into exactly what we've done to grow mm. to where we are today. From like the production perspective, from the post-production, po- uploading on TikTok and stuff and how relentless yeah. we are in that regard. Yeah. Let's start with the first question of every podcast, which is how did you sleep? And go back to the origins of that. Mm. Do you remember where it started? I just was always fascinated about sleep and I thought it was a different version of asking, you know, how are you? Mm. And I thought it's just a kind of quirky spin on it. How did you sleep? Mm. Yeah, exactly. So it was episode one or two, I think. And I just asked you off the cuff. It yeah. was like, wasn't planned at all. I feel like, we, no, I feel like we did. Maybe we just said it by, no, no we said it by accident. Mm. And then we're like, oh, well, let's just carry it on to episode three. Yeah. And then four and then five and six. Yeah. Uh, so, I, and it kind of tied in nicely because obviously we are, we take our sleep pretty seriously and stuff. Mm. Um, but are we going to retire it? I don't know. I, I, I feel, I feel like we need, it can't just be decided by you and I. It has to be mm. more, a more democratic decision from the viewership. The podcast is bigger than you and I. Yeah. So I think the listeners need to, to comment, to DM, something like that. They need to tell us what they actually think. Mm. Uh, they need to say, no, lads, like that would be shambolic. I'd stop listening. Please make sure you carry through the how did you sleep question. It is essentially the testament uh, or the, the deciding factor of if I have a good week or not mm. is hearing Louis ask Gab how he slept and then Gab doing the same to you. Exactly right. So I think that's in balls in your court, ladies mm. and gentlemen who are listening. In this intro section, do we want to go through how the podcast actually started? It's just about to say, yeah. Keyring, would you be able to pass me my phone real quick just over there? Nice Thank work. you. I believe I have the TikTok. Do you want me to play it? You do. So just for like a back end, so you and I, how did it all start? You and I were kind of tossing and turning about the idea of a podcast. Mm-hmm. I was super passionate about starting a podcast. Yep. I don't know why. And I was like, can this kid just shut up? You I don't were want to do so a podcast. passionate. And then we, you and I were going out for dinner to Nobu. 
Mate, which was mark of the times. A whole other story. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like it was a celebratory dinner. Just for those listening, that is not a regular occurrence. Like we were mm. just like really, you know, we just making like making good word, Gab. That we had just made like our first kind of good money from sales on Shopify. Like yeah. we had a big December and January on a, and November in terms of like selling our programs. They're like selling like hotcakes. All the kids in the gym were on them. So mm. we thought, you know, why don't we? We were pretty sting, we were pretty stingy with our cash, but we were like. Yeah. Why don't we actually celebrate? We've done well. Let's reward ourselves. So we went out. I took my ex-girlfriend. You took your ex-girlfriend. We had a bunch of white claws. We went to the casino it was even. Great fun. And you had your broken arm. So we were yep. all suited up. You had your broken arm. We went into the casino. You put $100 on something. Lost it all. Yep. Lost it all. But, but you had enough money at the time. So it's Had enough money. And that, <laughs> you went and chased your losses and you caught them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we won. No, but in the, the reason for saying that is like just before we went out, I quickly made a TikTok mm. um, at my ex's house. And I was like essentially posing the question of starting a podcast to the wider audience, to yeah, the TikTok yeah. audience. Now, you've got the TikTok here. If you're watching do, on mate. YouTube, it'll be put up on YouTube. If you're listening, then it, you'll just hear the audio. Okay, this is super exciting the fact that you guys want this or a couple of you do at least interact with this video if you are keen on a podcast 2021 it's our year we are super keen a lot of you guys have been asking for youtube for podcasts and all of that sort of stuff and we're looking to put that into effect and hopefully very soon um the fact someone's keen for a podcast is so exciting because that's something we're super interested in the point of this TikTok is just to gauge a little bit of interest if you would be keen on us starting a youtube if you would be keen on us starting a podcast let us know, interact with this post, um, and hopefully we can have it up soon. Nice one. That's when we used to do those loops for every video. Yeah. You did a little loop there. So that was posted 16th of January, mate. There you go. That's, and then so not long after that, we started the podcast. Yeah, I actually want to check the exact date that we did because when we say something, we usually put it into action pretty damn quickly. So mm. let me... Yeah, you it. have a scroll through. I, it's... um. It was pretty amazing, like just trying to trying to get it off the ground and, and yeah. everything behind it. But like that was the TikTok that got it all going. We obviously got enough interest in it. Yeah, it had three hundred comments on it. So there you go, pretty a bit good. of engagement. Um, so that was posted thirty first of January. So fifteen days after the first episode was up, and I remember when you posted that, I was still saying, "No, we're not fucking doing a podcast, yeah. mate." And we've said the story a million billion times, but it's like I was like. You gave me a spreadsheet of how much everything costs. I was like, Jesus, mate, two thousand dollars for mics, a camera, yeah. a, what else, recorder, recorder, oh. yeah, cables, and like headphones. I think it came to about four grand. Four grand, it? and I was like, no way. But I think it is the best thing we ever did because it really established mm. the community and people can tune in every week. Absolutely, no, it's it's been fantastic. Now I wanted to get into how we develop each episode. Yep. I think that's um, pretty important. So if you're looking to start a podcast yourself or you're just interested in the back end behind all of this, this stuff will be pretty interesting to you. We don't sit around for a week and write out a run mm -hmm. sheet. We don't sit around and like come up with the ideas, you know, weeks before. Sometimes through organized. the week, like you'll say, oh, you know what, we should chat on the podcast and we'll write that down and we'll just bring write it up. Down. But yeah. Exactly. So generally what we do, and, and this has been consistent with wherever we, wherever we have recorded, mm. um, same for the studio, is like, Half an hour before we start the podcast, mm. we go, let's talk about this, this, and this. Um, and then we break it up. So we go, start with an intro. It's all handwritten. Yep. Start with intro, which obviously has, how did you sleep? And then we go into generally like what we did that week, mm -hmm. um, our training, and like some kind of like topical discussion, but like nothing too deep. Yeah, it's not like scripted because I feel like I could be completely wrong. But what I've learned from podcasting 100 episodes is you don't want it to be really scripted and robotic. You want it to be a free-flowing conversation. I think what you and I uh, do, like our specialties, the chemistry we have and how we bounce off each other, kind of mm. similar but different and contrasting personalities and we almost play different characters. So the conversation just flows well mm. if we're talking about any topic. Exactly. So we start by creating the intro mm -hmm. and then the topic one comes through. Mm -hmm. So that'll be like, that'll be the main one essentially. Yeah. Like topic one is like, we want to try and catch the listener's attention. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too boring. You know, we're not talking about like, how like my running or something or like your powerlifting generally yeah we try one, not to go too heavy on like that pretty boring so um that's topic one and then we go topic two well in between topic one and two just a little insight for you guys we usually go ntf plug we got to keep a roof over our head guys so we go the roof over the head yep um and then into topic two mm -hmm. which is like can sometimes be a bit more juicy mm -hmm. we might like just slip that in there like a a, something about girls or you know like yeah. like relationships yeah, yeah. kind of thing just keep the listener going yeah. and then we'll either go a third topic or just straight into a mailbag yeah or in between 
two and three is usually a sponsors one mm. as well. Yeah, exactly right. So mm. we do the, the sponsors. And like that thing of, you know, like not having to plan it out too much. Mm. Like that's such a big, I think it's a tip of the hat to our skills in terms of podcasting because everyone's gangster until they get in front of mics, oh, cameras yeah. and lights. Yeah. And then it gets scary. And like the first 50 to 70 episodes, we couldn't have done what we do now. Or we tried, but it wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. Whereas now it's like, we're so relaxed behind the mic. Yeah. Like, I don't care if there's a silence. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, they are. They turn to water as soon as a mic and camera is on. It's like, they're all... It's hard. They're all chirpy and everything. But yeah, this is going out to people now, so... Exactly right. So anyway, that's kind of the behind the scenes. And we've slowly built up as we've gone on, haven't Mm -hmm. we? Yeah, we have. Uh, So we got the producer, Keelan, now. Yeah, well, yeah, we got producer, we got editor and... I can't like even begin to say how much that has helped like the production value of the podcast because before we had this awful little camera, we were sitting shoulder to shoulder at my desk. Mm. You were driving from the farm with like a broken arm, (laughs) the world's longest broken arm. (laughs) And we'd go in and we'd flick this tiny little camera that would auto turn off after 30 minutes oh, mate. and it would disaster. be up there like bird's eye view pretty much so and we'd bad. have the mics and i was sounding like microsoft sam uh, <laughs> <laughs> literally shoulder to shoulder it was like the worst thing ever oh. we weren't making any shorts from it or yeah. sometimes we did but they were like awful mate what what on earth were we actually doing i don't know we, we were Fuck. like it had to start somewhere but it was it was good that we did it like that because now the production value is so good. Like we've, we've got the producer, we've got Max, our, yeah. um, like our editor who, do, who does the clips and stuff. And then we've also got a new studio as of recent. Yeah. Yeah. And so after the room, we moved to, uh, we're the, at garage. the garage when we moved out together. Yep. Fucking awful. Yeah. <laughs> that was no, well we did, sorry, we did your room at your parents' house Yeah, yeah. and then we moved out and we did in like the, um, like the living room of our, Old oh house. yeah, yeah, fucking yeah! Awful. Fucking <laughs> even probably slightly better than the garage. Yeah, what do you reckon? I'd say so. Yeah, and yeah. then we decided to move it out to the garage. We, <laughs> chatter teeth, teeth. chatter, encourage the cowardly dog. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi going for a swim. <laughs> and we, we're trying to talk. Get through the guests in there. Yeah. Just put in a jumper, mate. <laughs> Don't have any heating. <laughs> jump up. And you'd have like the aggressive like light from the garage. It was yeah. like a commission flat light or a hospital light or something. Yeah, exactly. Beaming down on you. <laughs> Just down. making us look absolutely awful. We had like the worst like looks in the world. Our skin oh, was so was... bad. And anyway, yeah, we got out of there eventually. We did. Then we did the new place, new house, uh, address. Uh, <laughs> And then we, so we did a couple of episodes outside. Yeah. Didn't work. Cameras out. would overheat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that didn't work. Then we did, we went to the couch. Yeah. But the issue, all, the couch was all right. Couch yeah. was pretty good, but you, it sunk in so much that your legs are up by your ears. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you're look, just man spreading for the camera. <laughs> you're sunning. <laughs> um, anyway, and now we're here. All right. So I want to quickly rank these with you. Yeah. All right. So. Studio number one. Vibes are good. Studio, yeah, studio. I'm going to go number couch one. number two at the new place. Mm. For me, what do you think? No for you or? I might change that. To, okay, change. Actually, there was one we missed in there when we had the table in the living room and we were sitting across from each other. Where we With Zach Fisher. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. That was actually a little pretty good setup. Yeah, that was fucking good. That was like fun vibes yeah, for a second there. We'll do that. Yeah, number two. So that's number two. Then couch. Then couch. Then Ooh. your room. Yeah, my your room. House. Then I'm gonna go at the desk in yeah. the old house because we get the LEDs going on there, and you, we could actually make ourselves look really good, like yep. really tanned. And then last was the oh garage, garage. mate. That garage, oh, I actually, yeah, I don't oh, want to speak mate. about fires on this episode, but <laughs> I'll burn that fucking garage mate, down. Some right? bad times there. Yeah, awful. So we'll get through all of that, but uh, no, it's it's pretty amazing, and like what we've done to grow the pod mm. is. I think has been like the most amazing part, at least, mm. if, at least what I think. And I think that's a tribute to our like relentlessness in terms of like, we never missed an episode. We'll get into it in a bit, but we hated each other for a good chunk of a few episodes and we still rocked up every day and recorded that I think that we really embodied that mentality that the show must go on. Exactly. So show must go on. Our posting schedule was relentless. So mm. every podcast we'd have like four to five clips out of it mostly. Yeah. Um, which take ages to edit. For but those that, that didn't know. happen until, like, we should have been doing that yeah, that much earlier. Yeah. But yeah, again, we learned. Yeah. And then, so our posting schedule, like, always che- reminding people, go listen to this, listen to that. Like, getting people to interact with it was yeah. a huge part. Yeah. 
Um, and then we just like built on our equipment. We got a couple of A7, Sony A7s. Yeah, they're like $4,000 cameras each. Mm. So it's like investing. So hopefully it's crystal clear. And we're still investing. Like we're going to get yep. better lenses and whatnot. And then on top of that is that relentless structure again, which we mm. do now, which is like, you know, five to six yep. clips a week. You and I posting on our stories. And and now we've been getting staff. It's I always used to have the small uh, business mentality where it's like, oh, paying for staff, that's like money off the bottom line. It's expensive, mm. but... What that allows us to do is like these clips that you see on TikTok that are getting hundreds of thousands of views. Millions even. Ma- millions even. We didn't even post them. We have mm. Max, who's an absolute jet. Like he's a godsend. He's worth his weight in gold. Mm. Um, he makes the best clips mm. uh, and he uploads them and he, he'll just like tick over with us like which topics and we'll all confirm titles and whatnot in the group chat. Mm. And that just allows us to like double our output in terms of content. Then we have uh, Keelan or Keyring as we like to call him who... Yep. Um, like you used to edit it yourself, but I think he's re- he specializes in this, so he's really been able to, to enhance the quality and like just keep us in line as well. Yeah, exactly, keeps us in line. Well, both Max and Keyring like came to us, I think, mm. and like that's always a good sign, you know. Like we weren't necessarily looking for. I, I know definitely know with like Keyring and the producer he somehow side, made himself a job. Just, like he <laughs> made himself yeah. a job. We didn't have a job yeah, open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he just he nuzzled his way. He's That's here now. Pretty much all the people who work for us, we it's didn't. Like, oh, put, okay, yeah, we'll no, do that. genuinely, everyone who works for us, we didn't have a, we didn't say we need someone to work here. They yep. said, "This is my name. This is what I do. This is what I'm good at. And, and this, this is what I want. Me. This is why you need me." Pretty yep. much, and that's like shows that you hustle mm-hmm. and you're actually going to provide value. So everyone in the team is a hustler, and I think that is why we're where we are today. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got a long way to go. Now, yeah, should we get into episodes? Yeah, I reckon, mate. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. We'll start with episode one and two. Um, we'll do a little breakdown after. I'll play. So episode one was Gab, Girlfriends and Jim. Yeah, fuck. I was newly in a relationship. Yeah, well, were you? Yeah. There you go. The intro. <laughs> and we're live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast, where we're trying to give you a bit more of an insight into our lives. A bit more than a 30 second TikTok. With me today is my guest, co-host and business partner, Gab. How are you, mate? Very well, mate. Yourself? Yeah, it's going well. Had a good drive in today. Bit of a mission, about an hour. The traffic, hectic. Not good, mate. Small talk. It's not not ideal, but that's all right. We enjoy the country life. How's uh, how's life been? How's your week been? Uh, Life, I suppose, (laughs) is just the regular old stuff. Pretty busy. Um, I like to keep a routine. It's what kind of keeps me stable. There you go. I swear you edited my voice like in per words and made me sound like Microsoft Sam. I swear you did that. I don't. I swear I don't you talk like that. You weren't giving me much. One word answers. I'm going. Jesus, give me was, a long episode. <laughs> Maybe we should take the mics back. Did you keep the receipt. I like you. I kept the receipt. I was like the girl, like the the pretty girl that you're trying to talk to, and she just got no fucking personality. Mate, you were like, giving me nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it was a hard sell. Yeah, so that was episode one, and we were super nervous, obviously. Um, mm. Like. I think I stayed up all night trying to edit it. Obviously, like the editing was really bad. Like your voice was incorrect in it. Yeah. And like, that wasn't necessarily your fault. It was the editors. Um, you were giving me one word answers, which Fuck. is always a, a struggle. <laughs> you can't do much with that. Yeah. Like, so in terms of podcasting, we've talked about it before, Gab, just like in trying to improve our craft and stuff. Like if you ever take the conversation onto yourself and you've got a guest there, especially, you yeah. have to follow up with a question. Yeah. Otherwise, you've just taken a big shit in the middle of the room and we've all got to <laughs> sit in it. And I think That's, it took us a few episodes to figure that out. I reckon out. we only figured that out a little bit ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few episodes like, ago. What, what sometimes will happen is we'll be talking and then, you know, someone might be like, yeah, oh, that that's happened happened to me. <laughs> okay, mate. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying. And, yeah. <laughs> Whereas what you should be doing is, oh, that happened to me, you know, and then follow up with a question. Does, mm. what's, you know, what's your favorite sandwich? I think? think not just for podcasting, just for conversations <laughs> in general. Conversations that's in general, exactly. And you notice that when you go out on dates and yeah. stuff, it's like... What, what I've noticed is like family functions when you're with the cousins you only see once a year yeah. and they have like the most NPC spec mm-hmm. social skills. You're like, oh, how was first year uni, Jimmy? <laughs> and you just say, good. yep, good, thanks. It's, fuck, you're not going to ask me a question about how I've conquered the world this year, mate. <laughs> Do you know what I've done? <laughs> mate, you fucking little... Get your notepad you're out, You're averaging mate. like a fucking participation. 
At your 68 hour course, mate. How about you ask, ask us about what we're doing? Let's go. Come on. Come on, mate. <laughs> All right, good. So that's episode one. Now we're going to episode two, which is about me, footy and lifting. Yeah. My fitness podcast. Thank you so much for joining us again. Gab, thank you for this podcast. We'll get through. We'll get through. Oh, no, we're, we're not going to listen to that. There was nothing to it. Essentially, yeah, same, same kind of thing. Very nervous. You interviewed me. I think I was better, though. It was a little bit better, especially on the editing front. So mm-hmm. um, well done there, mate. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we're through. Those are two of the most listened to episodes of all time. Maybe mm. because after the most recent one, it auto plays the first few. Oh, but a, a lot of people, I think it's got the most plays out of any episode, those two episodes. So, yeah. yeah. Very interesting. I, yeah. So, to be honest, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Your intro was really good. Guys, go back and listen to the intro of episode one that Louis did. He's too modest, but I think that was just <laughs> clinical from him. And it shows that he, as Prime trained, very uh, brutally said the other day Gab you're not a podcast host you're a co-host <laughs> and I said shut up you've got one episode mate <laughs> anyway we're gonna keep keep going but yeah it wasn't as bad as what we originally thought and um I don't know it's it, it was good building blocks yeah now the next one yeah it gets grim from here and not Which necessarily because be? of the episode and not because of who we had on in fact he was fantastic but episode 17 with Jack Higgins oh the day one day one Day one, mate, mate, there's a lot of fucking backstory for this one. A lot of backstory. This is crazy. And I don't think we've spoken about it before. Maybe not, yeah. Probably not a whole lot. But essentially, what happened, Jack Higgins, so episode 17, and we've got an AFL player yeah. on. This bloke's blue ticked up, 50k plus followers. And When we, when I got a DM from him, I'd have rather oh. got a DM from Jack Higgins than any girl on the planet. I don't care yeah. if it's M. Ratajowski, uh Kim Kardashian, Cara Delevingne, I don't care. A message from Jack Higgins, I was getting more butterflies and screenshotting it to you. And we Did all go in, in the chat, oh my God, oh my just thanks yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah. Exactly. Like, it was such a big deal. Um, so the lead up to that was exciting. Like, we had the run sheet kind of ready mm. for that. You and I go out for a couple of tins the night before. Yeah, a couple of tins the night before. And some unexpected news to poor Louis boy here. Uh, roll in at about, oh, what time was it? Probably like 11? Uh, later, 12. Oh, you reckon 12? Like, so midnight yeah. after having a few tins with the lads, yeah. Um, the girlfriend at the time essentially tells me she doesn't love me anymore. And like, Girlfriend like, of four years. Yeah, so it was, a, it was, it was big, big. And it was just a bit odd. And <laughs> it's just not what you want. And like, had no idea it was Have coming. you seen those TikToks <laughs> just a random like Wednesday? And, yeah. <laughs> and you're like just going about your business, happy as Larry. Yeah. Just a random <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> boom, boom. It's <laughs> just whack. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That's how it felt. Fucking <laughs> hit me like a sucker punched, mate. Yeah. So literally, reckon I was running on about one hour to two hours. You'd sleep. never dealt with any heartbreak or any never whatsoever. Yeah. And like, you know, it, she doesn't need to pick her times to. to yeah, yeah that's So like, fine. no, no yeah. worries to her at all. But like, it was that next day was probably the worst mental health I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Like I was so sad. I'd just been crying the whole night pretty yeah. much. And I was like, come on, mate. We've got a podcast <laughs> today. We've got the biggest guest ever. And the timing behind it was just shocking because like we had the biggest guest ever. And yeah. I think there were a few episodes after that where like every time we had a big guest, something big would happen in yeah. our, something negative. Like we keep you saying got it. broken up with after, before a big one. Yeah, maybe. Some the relationship broke down. Yeah. Anyway, so... Let's listen to the Jack Higgins one. Oh, we are back, Gab, and I'm excited. We've got uh, the biggest one yet, mate. Um, yeah, the big boy, the big dog. The big the dog. dog. Uh, how are you, firstly? I want to know how mate, you are. I'm good, but honestly, nobody cares about this. They've read the title already. Yeah, no one cares. Fuck it. Let's just throw it in the chat. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Higo on. Higo, mate, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, very well, boys. Um, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, first time listener. Like, first, like, long time listener, first time caller. Bang. That's us. That's how we like it. Yeah, long time listener, first time caller. Anyway, there you go. So, that was the Higo episode. Um, to top all of that off, one of the SD cards, like, broke. Yeah. D- don't you think Higo's voice is therapeutic? I, quite I like love Higo's listening voice. to it. I want to mm. listen to that and just, like, take out everyone else's voices and just listen to Higo's mm. voices and the way, like, his cogs turn and how he says things. Yeah. I actually find it very, like... He runs through words in a Relaxing. different way that other yeah. people do. It's, mm. Yeah, I quite enjoy listening to it. So during that, like I'm the sound guy, mic guy, camera guy. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> You're yeah. rocking up. Yeah. I'm running on two hours sleep. Bloody love of my life is broken up with me. Yeah. And I, the SD cards are breaking. Like the equipment's not working. Oh, mate. That was so stressful. I think I went home and did a bit of pillow screaming, mate. <laughs> 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 So yeah, <laughs> not ideal. 
Oh, far out. I felt on top of the world after that podcast. Yeah, though. it was. Yeah. I remember you looking looking pretty on top of your world. On Why? No, nah, it's just, just like, looking. You know, no, nah, you just like you were, you're up and about. Yeah, fair. It's good. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, it's it's funny because you just like podcast takes so much brain power. Mm. I don't think you realize until after the podcast is done, you go, Ugh, oh, emotional, just a, not awareness, just like you got to be present. Yeah. yeah, you know, exactly energy. Mm. So with that energy, we go on to episodes we hated each other. Yeah. Now we facts. actually, because we did such a good job at it, we actually can't find bits where it sounds like we hate each other. So we're yeah. not even going to play anything. Through yeah, because I'm looking through it and you guys will see as well, every single, like you space it by seven days, there was an episode there, which mm. is crazy because like I look at, I, I remember the months roughly, I think it was 2021, August to September around about mm. and we got an episode up every single week mate so i can't even pinpoint like when we like we'd have to look back through messages or mm. go through like the archives which we don't want to do just take too much time and, and yeah the show just went on the show just went on it was at the point where you and i were not talking to each other like mm. throughout the whole week oh, man. living in the same house but still managed to never see each other and the house was tiny house was like tiny. we'd hear footsteps if you were downstairs i'd be upstairs if you were upstairs <laughs> i'd be downstairs or someone would be out of the house great chat. we hated each other's oh, guards mate, and that it was, was fucked. over like all this business stuff we don't really need to go well into no it. it was that the thing which made it difficult right and this is you know when they say you, you never want to go into business with your mm. friends or whatever and this is why it sucked because it's like all these people would have been like, oh, I told you so, and just praying on our downfall. Yeah, exactly. Which is what made it even worse because we hated so each true. other and then all these people from the outside would be, oh, I told, I told you, you so. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you don't need it. And so yeah. it was, I think there were like some social issues or disagreements which then led into business disagreements and it just turned into a whole cluster fuck yeah. and it was just messy and I wasn't backing down and I said some nasty things and then, um, yeah. Oh, no, it's, I said some nasty things. Yeah. just back and forth. It was just a shocker. Didn't go, and like... Usually, if we have an argument, like it solved pretty quickly, but that one was an all time. Oh, like we were I, going head to head. I reckon it lasted for about a month, just like intensity of real badness. Still managed to get four episodes out though, which is actually incredible. Mate, now I, I look back at it. I actually am. Ba I don't remember how he did it. Do you I'm remember baffled. at all? No, I, we just pulled it together. I think it was just like, all right, yeah. All yeah. right, we got a podcast to do. We just like put on a brave face and like faked it through. Yeah, and then we like literally didn't even speak to each other after it. <laughs> like podcast done. You're you're right to edit it, and upload. Yeah, mate. Like, yeah, cool. So, yeah. I'll do the post, and then off. Yeah, <laughs> right. Fuck off now. A lot of walks around the block. That's crazy. It grim is, territory. It was such grim territory. I, mm. I can't believe it. But yeah, so those those were some brutal episodes. I think. Yeah. I, I don't even know what we spoke about. Neither. Um, I don't want to remember what we spoke about. And then onto some even more brutal episodes, mate. Yep. Episode twenty one and, and episode forty one with the breakup episodes mm. 21 was my breakup not long after jack egan's episode of course yeah yep. so we need to let it simmer for a second yeah i've done a bit of thinking you know clearly things weren't working what actually happened was my ex oh actually i don't want to no, yeah, go just, into just give us okay she, she, she essentially said she doesn't love me but went on a trip interstate and yeah. we didn't talk but so Girls it wasn't trip. it wasn't over Girls yeah trip. yeah and then got back and like Said. Confirm, yeah, yeah, confirm the breakup. So that's why that's why there's yeah. the, yeah. the difference between yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> episode seventeen and episode twenty one. Yeah, um, no, no hate to her. What's her? She's a, a great girl. Episode so, seventeen, you were hopeful. Twenty one was like <laughs> episode <that> seventeen. <laughs> Literally, uh, episode seventeen. I'm like fingers crossed. Fingers now, crossed, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, now it's gonna work out. Yeah, it will. <laughs> she's just going away. It think actually will. <laughs> yeah. And then episode twenty one. Uh, I think episode 20, she dropped me. So episode 21, I'd done. I'd had, a week. Twos, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd had a week to think about it. And I go, yeah. oh, fuck this. You were, make a she was podcast. deliberating selection <laughs> and then she just didn't pull through. I didn't make the cut. So episode 21 was uh, the first breakup episode. I'll see if I've got a clip here from it. Yeah. Um, so we called it NTF breakup. And now this is like one of the episodes that we just get so many messages about, both of these episodes. Oh, talk about evergreen content. 
mate, everyone seems to go back to it and we almost need to get broken up with again to do it. Yeah, i got to dig up some of that energy so we can do a breakup yeah. episode again. So here's a clip from the NTF breakup episode 21. Anyway, a couple of podcasts ago, I was a little bit flat. Um, I, I was fresh off a breakup, so I got broken up with... Um, and I, I really appreciate everyone who, like, we had a fair few people who reached out and said, mate, are you okay? Yeah. I'm here for you. Uh, so thank you to everyone who did that. You guys are, mate, unreal. Like, yeah. You, you, we've got the best community. So so thanks to everyone for that. Um, but yeah, as you know, I was I was broken up and a little bit rattled. Um, and I suppose we're going to talk about this, not necessarily <laughs> specifics, but but like how, how I was feeling, how I am feeling, and then and then what's helped kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it definitely came as a surprise to me because in, in my eyes, yeah, you know, got a, got a few things going for you. <laughs> Back in his point the of Gavachon little... comes in. Good boy. You backed me up hard. Yeah, yeah. that was a, a good one and a bit of a back story to that one. Firstly, it was like very scary doing those episodes. Yeah. Um, And like a backstory to that was, so she'd like broken up with me and then like we'd been apart and then there was like almost a hope. Like I think we'd been talking mm. a little bit over like messenger or something and just a hope that we might get back together from my end. Yeah, I don't think yeah, it was yeah. ever from her end. And then she heard that episode and said, not a fucking chance. Yeah. It scared her off. <laughs> yeah. No way. She didn't want the smoke. Didn't want the smoke. Oh, well good on you for doing that episode, mate, because I think, I think it'd be ridiculous to be like, Oh, I wish I didn't do it because then she'd be back with me. Nah, Mate, not at all. That wouldn't have changed anything. And if it did, then that's not a relationship mm. you want to be in, I don't think. And the amount of value you provided for so many young male and female listeners out there for, let's face it, a topic that isn't been spoken about in such a relatable fashion, I think greatly outweighs any sort of flimsy relationship you might have had on the cards. Yeah, exactly right. And like, like so fair by her to be like annoyed by that mm. episode to some extent. Like mm. you never want that stuff publicly spoken about. And like, I think you and I have both tried to be very respectful to our exes while yeah. still having our life somewhat in like yeah. a public manner because like we talk about it on a podcast which goes to thousands. So um, shout out to them. But uh, yeah, I, rec- I reckon on that topic, I've pissed off a lot of girls. Mm. I don't even say their name. Yeah. I just like say a general criteria, yeah. like X, Y, Z, um, this is the person and roughly like something that's happened and I'll get a message back or something or they'll see me yeah. and just fucking rip my head off about it. I'm like, you only know, like no one knows that's you. Yeah. You only know it's you because you're listening. Exactly. Like, just, just, I'm, just, just, I'm on a podcast. Fun. Exactly. Come on. It, it's a hard one. It's a hard sell. And it's always, the podcast is really, like really nice at the start in terms mm. of the relationships. But then if you start talking about stuff on online then it they generally yep. get pretty pissed off now this is the next one which is gab's breakup mm. and we got pretty deep into this so one. your one mate you let it simmer for about four weeks but gab mate i'm just ripped the band-aid off straight away so this was broken raw. up straight onto the mic <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know why I, no i'm glad i did it but fuck, i was crying during this podcast like yeah. i had to muster up like you know when you get so upset you can't actually get your words out? You're mm. like, <laughs> you're hyperventilating. Yeah. yeah, I was like that for like the first 15 minutes. Exactly. Like we had to pause it, but yeah, go on. Let's listen to it. Yeah, it's just tough. Like decision kind of came from her end. Yeah. Um, and over a few weeks, there was quite a bit of back and forth. Um, so in that sense, not really that clean. A lot of confusion, but mm. yeah, it was just real tough. And so, like, that initial conversation uh, you had where, like, it, it was a breakup, mm. how did you initially respond? Well, I mean, yeah, not well. <laughs> it's, like, upsetting and yeah. difficult to process kind of thing. And, you know, I don't want to get too specific, but it didn't kind of seem real. And that's why it was very drawn out and a lot of back and forth. Mm. Whereas now, like... For a while now, I've just been accepting it, which has been the toughest thing. Yeah. And so, like, that process of accepting it. Bro, it almost sounds like a media release of, like, some star athlete who's, who's been caught doing drugs and yeah, he has to, yeah. like, address and apologize. Literally. That was a, a brutal episode and we pretty much hated each other at the time. I think we, like, moved on a little... Like, we were better. Definitely on better terms. We were a little bit better. Your grandfather had just died. Yeah, oh, he died, like, a month before. So, I had I had yeah. the triple whammy. Like, my best mate on terrible terms with him. Mm. Mrs. broken up with me. And 
<laughs> granddad's died. Life's yeah. just said, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with this. Let's get a microphone yeah. in front of him. <laughs> Have you seen those TikToks where it's like... <laughs> <laughs> the devil watching you set your alarm for 6am unfollow every Instagram model after putting you in like the worst and mental like, state the- possible it's like it's Joe Rogan going what the <laughs> fuck what the- <laughs> literally after that yeah yeah that was you yeah so that was raw uh, that was hard but yeah. you did well there and well done for opening up I just told myself hard time don't last only tough no tough time don't last only tough, <laughs> tough people, people last <laughs> fantastic yeah yeah so the old breakup episodes were great um we're gonna need to get into some relationships to for more of those yeah so if there's any baddies that are listening that want to get together and then break my heart yeah i think you'd be providing the viewership with real good content Mm. and hopefully like they're pretty liberal with like what we do with the content you know yeah I want to get my ex-girlfriend on for a podcast. I think that'd I'd love be great. her to do that. Which do you think we should get it? one of your ex-girlfriends on too? I don't think my ex would do it, but I can yeah. ask her. Yeah. Um, we've it's time for a product plug. It is, mate. We do have to keep the roof over our head and uh, fulfilling our contract obligations. Mm. Manscaped. The boys. The boys. We love Manscaped. Big Drew. They just rock up every week. I think they're coming out with a new beard trimmer. Ooh. I don't think it's on the website yet. Mm. But maybe save up your pennies, your pocket money, because they're going to be coming out with some new products. I think beard oils as well. Not that you can actually grow any facial hair. I can't, no. Only me, because I'm a real man. Proper man. Uh, but you could use the... On you. You could use the beard oil on your arms, mate. I've got some pretty hairy arms right here, big fella. Yeah. Um, and I will be using the beard oil on my arms. I also could use the lawnmower. You know, I heard the out. Crop Preserver... Mm. Helps with chafing. I think I'm all out of that, actually. Let's ask Boss Man for a, oh, uh, a shipment. Yeah, bring the container a, in. A, what are they called in COD? Uh, thing when they drop a oh, care, care package. package. Yeah, 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 yeah. We Manscaped. need a care package, care package. for Manscaped. I literally asked him for 20 pairs of the $50 boxes once and he just sent them down. What a goat. So um, you can't do that because you're not sponsored. <laughs> Unlucky. But the next best <laughs> option is using code NTF, yeah, which will is. give you 20% off and free shipping. <laughs> That's pretty good. And use your hard-earned cash on that. Sales, 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 baby. <laughs> Ka-ching. <laughs> That's the sponsorships done for the whole episode. We don't have any more sponsorships to go for the episode. Yep. So congratulations, you've gotten through that. Yep. Now, the next podcast that I want to talk about... Is this the final? Or we got well, it's, it's the final and then we got one more after that, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so oh, yeah. this podcast is like kind of our, our flagship episode. Yeah. And it's only episode 56. It's the episode with Dil, Dylan Buckley. Back when we had the soft porn cover for the podcast. Soft porn cover... Um, and like we were still figuring out, you know, the podcasting thing, but I think we'd, you know, 56 episodes in, you've come a fair way. Mm. So you kind of know some skills behind it, but a lot to learn. Yeah. Uh, in the morning of this, a kangaroo decided to jump in front of my car. There we go. That was the bad thing. Yep. Was there anything else? Oh, because you'd gone away on that cycling thing because you were feeling fed up or something. Yeah, I think with X again. Yeah, yeah. Egg, yep. Yeah. She strikes again. Good. Um, right now. <laughs> Uh, We'll play a little clip from this and then we'll chat through it. Welcome back. Episode 55 of the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast. I'm very excited. Gab, how are you? How'd you sleep? Mate, I slept awfully. I came back from Falls Creek or Toonga Gap this morning. Been up since five, you know, completely underslept. But I had to leave early because we've got a huge guest on today Mm. and I'm really excited for it. Dil, Dil Buckley from Dylan Friends. How'd you sleep and how are you? Firstly, boys, thanks so much for having me on. This has been a long time in the making. Um, been a big fan of the show for a long time and everything you've been doing. So I respect the hustle, respect the grind. Um, and yeah, just loving what you guys are, what, what you guys are up to. Sorry. So how'd I sleep? Was that the first question? That mm. is correct. Um, pretty good. I love, oh, fuck, I love sleeping. Bro, I'm speaking like a bot. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're that nervous. Like we'd wound ourselves up so much about this episode yeah. and like, it was the biggest deal to us coming in. Like, oh, wait. So normally we do it at our house, yeah. but he's like coming to my studio. <sighs> It's just, he's got the home ground advantage. Home ground advantage, which is a great call because we didn't want him in the fucking garage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we got there. We had a videographer there as well, Kevin. Mm. Shout out to him. Yeah. Uh, but like that just made it so much more intense, of course. Mm. Um, you know, we thought we might have been the only podcast doing the deal, Buckley, but he'd done a full PR the thing and done like four podcasts before us and four after us. So like he had like a full release of all these podcasts he was guest on, which is unreal. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Him. Um, but yeah, and we, we got through it. We were super nervous in his studio and I thought we were a little bit clunky. Yeah. What do you think? No, I just, I just remember nodding to everything because I was, he's like quite 
witty and clever in the way he responds to things and it's like a bit of a curveball sometimes and mm. I was speaking like a genuine bot I lost all my social skills in that podcast and I was like yeah you know, I just go, yeah yeah and I just like kind of let you carry it and we somehow got through 40 minutes or something but I wasn't happy with my performance mm. uh, nonetheless I think it was still a good podcast so it might be a little bit too critical on myself how do you think mm. it I, th- went I you? thought you did really well yeah I, I totally agree though on I was I was the exact same mm. quite clunky like very nervous when you're coming in on on those kind of nerves mm. you, you need to figure out some breathing exercise or something to like have a beer properly honestly rela- literally like a beer would would have helped a couple of beers would have ma- had a yeah beer. Oh, dear, yeah. Yeah. the fucking yeah. arm mate yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking yeah. idiot yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. Uh, but no, so, yeah, I, I don't think there would be too many guests we could have on that would have me that nervous. Anymore. Yeah. I think you're going international level and then, yeah. What if you got like Dua Lipa on? Would yeah. you be nervous in front of her? Oh, nah. G'day, Jal. What's your guy? What do you Hello, do with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Did that song with Elton John, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. You do the singing, don't you? Singing, don't you? <laughs> I don't reckon there's many... Um, guess that would make me that nervous again yeah just because like i was nervous because i knew i was in the deep end there like we didn't know what we were doing we didn't really hadn't quite figured out our chemistry yet what if we had joe rogan on so he's so good at podcasting i think i'd yeah. be, i think i'd be okay. elon musk yeah when you start adding a bit of asperger's in there is when i start getting a bit nervous <laughs> Because that, you, it's know, on you. Talk, talk about curveballs. Because Joe would make you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just sit there for thirty seconds thinking, "Mate, is the podcast paused?" Or... <laughs> yeah, the... No, it's still rolling. <laughs> he goes, "Ah, yes." And um, oh, yes. ex <laughs> Asia. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'd make me nervous. Yeah, that would have me on the edge of my seat. But I think, like, once you boil it down to just having a conversation, things are all right. <laughs> and I don't think, like, I think with Dill, we had put him on such a pedestal, which he deserved. Yeah. Uh, that we were super nervous. But we did get through and I'm very proud of that episode. Mm. We'll have to have, have him on again in the second century. I mm. think, I think mm. yeah. And it'll be a lot better episode if yeah. we can get him on. It'd be cool to have like a couple of beers or something with him and actually yeah, yeah. just like talk about footy, about... Well, like, <laughs> the glass yeah. barbecue a even. New, new father. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find that word so funny. Why do they call it the glass barbecue? Because I think what you smoke meth out of is glass and it looks like a... Well, it's like... I don't know, mate. You just do your own research. This is too too much for our episode. <laughs> right. We've got a mailbag. Yeah, we do. Yeah. All right, go on. Um, in fact, yeah, this is from Ollie. He says, what's your favorite podcast episode? Yeah. And we both agree. Mm. It's episode 44. Yeah. Now, that was when we were sitting in our old house. Mm. Little shoebox. And we were... A, a bit of a way out of the breakups by now. Oh, well, at least I was. Yeah, uh, I was maybe two months out. Two months, yeah. And um, we were just starting to relax up to it a little bit, like podcasting in general. And we'd had a couple... I was had a bottle of red wine. You'd had a... <laughs> couple. <laughs> couple, you reckon? <laughs> I was shit-faced. Yeah. Uh, you'd had a bit to drink as well. And then yeah. we were going to go out after. So we just used it as a yeah. form of praise. Yeah. And we were talking about dating. The episode is called... Um, where is it? Uh, building the ultimate dating profile. Mm-hmm. And we were trying to do it in a sense of like, not saying we'd started a dating profile. Building it for a mate. We were talking yeah. about for a mate. And at the we just like broke down in the end because it yeah, was so yeah. funny. Yeah. Because like we had actually made it for ourselves. We were so down bad. Oh, not to yeah. say we were down like any of you guys on dating apps are down bad, but like we, I had been on it in the past, but... We were trying to, I think potentially give ourselves an opportunity with our exes or something by not saying we were on our on yeah dating yeah apps. true yeah, exactly. yeah yeah so like we, we were we were just like didn't want to say mm-hmm. we we're on dating apps in case it you know hindered our chances yeah. with with them which is like so painful yeah <laughs> so i'll give you a little clip from this uh it's a good laugh hope you enjoy <laughs> don't you think <laughs> i was like like to my mate i was like is there anyone you want to block I'm like, mum, dad he was like nah <laughs> yeah but, yeah i want to block mum for a mate <laughs> I thought that was pretty hectic. Yeah, that's no, nah, it's a good one. Uh, <laughs> we've helped out a lot of mates with this. Yeah, um, yeah, the perfect profile, eh? Mm. Yeah, building yeah, it. So there you go. There's, there's all the answers you need. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like listening back to that, it doesn't matter what we were saying. Mm. It would have been funny because we were literally pissing ourselves. Yeah, and like trying to hide the fact that like it wasn't the mate we were building it for. Like, oh, it's for us. We, we, we were it. trying to figure it out yeah. ourselves. 
What is the perfect date? Because I think profile? the one we're talking about was like you can click block a phone number because you have to register with your phone number on a dating app. Yeah. So they won't come up. Yeah. So yeah. obviously it's, it's like an X or something you'd block so you didn't <laughs> have the awkward thing of seeing them come up on your Tinder. Yeah. God, that was fun, mate. Mm. That was so much. That was such, that was, that's my favorite episode. Yeah, though. we got to do something like that again. Hop in the mm. studio, have a few drinks. Um, and then go Use out after. drinks Yeah. The thing is, where I, I wanted to do that for this episode, but we're just yeah. so dialed in. We're very tr- dialed. Like not drinking at the moment and trying to recover and all that. Yeah. So it's a bit hard. But when when we're in in that mood, we'll. I'm gonna have ten beers lined up for myself. It'll for be so fun. Yeah. Like it it is so much fun when you just hit the cameras. And I feel like that's what everyone loves as well. Yeah, have a live the, audience even like all your mates at Pre's. They can go as the audience yeah, for it and give them a mic as well. Yeah, go your hardest. Oh yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, maybe we can sell tickets to the live audience. That'd be fun. They can be free, but just yeah. ticket them. All right, we've got another question here from. The great man, Hayden Shade. Obviously, shout out to him. He's yep. the, our funniest listener. Yeah, I love him. Um, he says, after 100 podcasts, how do you think your skills have grown in front of the camera and how much does it benefit all your forms of content? Which is a great question. It's very... He's a deep thinker. That's a great question, mm. mate. <laughs> it's mm. just like a cut above the rest in terms of... That's why he's the one one of the only people, whenever he sends me a message, I open it straight away because I know it's going to be good value. Mm. Good shout out to him. Um, podcast... Well, skills. Mm. I have noticed after a hundred episodes, my ability to converse is tenfold better. Mm. Like just so much better. Yeah. And I think it comes down to the point of like being relaxed in a conversation. I mm. used to like when I'd go on dates and stuff, get there, sit down, fuck, what am I going to say? Do you think having a high caliber of guests has helped that? Like mm. I bloody talk to such and such, you know? Yeah, That's... I think so. And just like not freaking out about finding the words mm. like you know when you go on a date sometimes like oh what am i going to say it's like a bit of a yeah it's all a it's jump, a non-issue a jump moment yeah. yeah it's it's not like that so i that's like kind of been completely eradicated mm. um even like maybe so like for example if we're out when we haven't been out in ages but if we're out we might be wanting to network with someone you know we i feel like we're a whole lot better at socializing now before i just wouldn't even approach them for a conversation yeah I remember being at my old job and my social skills were so bad. I like someone would ask me how I am and I'd go, yeah, not too much or something like that, bro. <laughs> like shit yourself. I just <laughs> fumble the bag that hard. <laughs> no, like I'm serious. And now I'm like fucking, yeah. I'm just mate. It comes off the tongue. I'm like, yeah, mate. I'm mate, could not be better, brother. How you like? It just comes out really, really well. I feel like. Like now my social skills are way better. I'm it, better at talking. Exactly. And it's it's that relaxation in the conversation mm. and not afraid of long pauses. Because yep. like I'm confident enough that I know what I'm going to say after. <laughs> Whereas before you just talk the shit out yeah. and like hope that you get away How with it. How are you, Gab? Elon Musk, 30 second pause. <laughs> 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 I think about it. Hmm. Hmm. How am I? <laughs> it's good, good what about, that's a great. Oh, and then in terms of what has it, in terms of like other forms of content, it's helped in every yeah. way, I'd say. Yeah. Presenting skills, um, mm. yeah, ability of conversation, and, and also TikToks in shorter form. What about things that you want to improve? Is there is there skills in podcasting that you think you need to work on? I feel like I am not able to see that myself. I feel like I need someone whose opinion is very valuable. Like, what if. Joe Rogan listened to one episode and he could probably pick apart a mm. lot of things we're doing wrong. Yep. And that'd probably be very, very valuable. Mm. So I don't, is there anything you can particularly notice for me or I can notice for you? Yeah, I think for both of us, I mean, there, there's plenty. I, I was, I'm very lucky that I've got mum and dad who give me mm. feedback on almost every episode. They, they both worked in radio. It's pretty much like their job. Yep. Um, and a lot of the feet, firstly, is our swearing. That's what my mum always says. We sound uneducated and it sounds like it's just, it, it takes us down a level with yeah, all the swearing. It does, but you also got to be yourself a bit. Yeah, but I think we can find better words often. So that's yeah. one thing I want to work on. Another thing is uh, pausing, longer pauses. And sometimes I'll be talking and then there's a point where I can put a pause in there, but I won't do it in case the other person hijacks the conversation. Let's say like doing interviews and stuff or, mm. you know, you and I talking. Sometimes I'll be talking and i could say pause and then continue talking but i'll go talking talking pause t- talking talking so that like you can't jump in or so that another person yeah, can't jump yeah, in yeah, yeah. And that's not on you that's on me yeah um and then the other thing is just like yeah conversation hijacking you know you can't if you if you take the conversation off mm. then you need to follow up with a question especially when we have a guest on this is for both you and i like if you're gonna bring the conversation onto yourself which is a pretty big deal then you better have something good to say and 
being the quietest in the podcast is sometimes a good thing. Yeah, that's. I think that's what Mike Thurston's doing really well in his podcast is he just shuts up yep. and he lets them. But when he does provide, like his voice is so therapeutic and he just asks the right questions. Exactly. I think that's a leaf we can... He's only like six episodes in or something. I think we can really take a leaf out of his book there. Exactly right. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's a jet. I, I can't believe how good he is at yep. podcasting. I mean, I suppose all that time... He's 32 and he's done a lot of vlogging <laughs> and whatnot, so... It's true. Yeah. Um, I've got more questions there, but I don't want to go into them. They're kind of not really on the topics. Let's just quickly touch on what's to come for the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast. Mm. What do you think we have in store? I think... I, I would say more guests, but I think I would just say the guests that we do get on will be more valuable. And I think the episodes will be... There might be some returning guests, but yeah. also we can probably reach out to a few high caliber guests, some more interesting guests, guests we wouldn't have been able to message before. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and not necessarily high caliber from the perspective of having a lot of followers mm. or, or that kind of thing. But I think we want to really add value and continue mm. to add value. So doing getting things like... You know, a festival medic, it's a good start, but like we can go into it, like get a police officer in or we yeah. can get like a, an accountant in and like really add value. You'd to love our, an accountant, wouldn't you? I'd love to have a chat to an accountant about balancing sheets and stuff. I want like a tax fraud Wall Street Jordan Belford accountant. That'd be good. Yeah. Maybe we could go into crime style podcasts. Yeah. Maybe we could get a, a serial killer on. A stripper. <laughs> yeah. A we porn could. star. Yeah. Porn star would get on. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What else? We, I don't want to spoil some of the ones we have coming up. Okay, yeah. good point. Um, mate, that's all I've got for episode 100. Yep. I'll come back next week when I think of more words. I'll go study the dictionary. Yeah, well, we don't really do much thinking during the week. We just mm. rock up and seem to talk. Yeah. So hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, you have enjoyed listening to the back end of our podcasting life. Mm. Um, this is everything that goes on to bring it to you. And hopefully you keep enjoying it. Um, and thanks so much. Here's to 100 more.